My brothers and sisters, I greet you in the precious name of our wonderful Redeemer and King, Christ Jesus. 2020 has been a very unusual year, but may I remind you that we serve a very awesome God. We started the year with some great plans. We had great expectations. There were many projections, many things that we set out to achieve and we, we, we started in our first quarter en route to achieving all of these objectives. But then came COVID. COVID-19 came around and it has put a spin in all our plans for our evangelistic campaigns, our church building projects, or our schools, or community outreach. We had to adopt to a new norm. And I'm here today to say how grateful we are to God for a very faithful and supportive constituency. You stood by us in the good and the bad times. We adjusted together and we started our virtual church services um, via Zoom and eventually we went on to YouTube and, and Facebook. You adhere to the protocols observing your physical distances, wearing your mask, ensuring that our churches were um, outfitted with the necessary sanitation um, apparatus, and worship service continued. Our pastors, our laity, they were out in the field from door to door distributing care packages, visiting those who were shut in, those who were indigent, those who were sick, rescuing the perishing, caring for the dying. We were visible on the ground doing ministry. And through it all, God has been there with us. I'm here to give thanks to God for the way he has led us. And despite us not being able to launch out into the massive evangelistic campaigns that we had planned, we have still so far baptized over 500 precious souls into God's kingdom. Despite many of our members losing their jobs or getting reduced income, we have been able to sustain our expenses to keep our workers employed and to continue ministry, to support our schools, to support our brethren who are in need, and most importantly, to reach out to the community through care packages almost every month. Who could it be but God? On behalf of the administration, our executive secretary, Pastor Daniela Daniels, our treasurer, Sister Sashina Thompson, all our directors, our pastors, our office staff, I want to say a big thank you to every single one of you. Yes, every single one of you members who um, ensured that we continued earnestly in prayer asking God for his leading, for his direction, as we navigated through this new norm to ensure that our members were ministered to, the community was, uh, was, was serviced, and we want to thank God for all that he has done. We also want to give God thanks for having enabled us to have our first virtual camp meeting broadcasting right here from our new students at, at, at Dover and what a camp meeting it was. I believe it was one of the most exciting camp meetings that we have had since the Northeast Jamaica Conference came into being. We had six powerful preachers. We had Dr. Knight, we had Dr. Jules, we had Dr. Braham, Dr. Gregory, we had Pastor K. White and they all allow themselves to be used by God to minister to the hearts of individuals. Each sermon was potent and it was just the sermon that was needed for the moment. And we thank God for the team of volunteers who work so assiduously to make this camp meeting a reality. I want to ask you to pray for our online ministry as we launch out and we ask you also to give us your generous, generous contribution so that we can be enabled to do even more broadcasts, to share the, word, the love of God virtually to persons, not just here in Jamaica, 
but right around the world. We are mindful of the fact that some of our members are still hurting. There are still some who are unemployed or who are sick or who are struggling on reduced income. But we are also mindful of the fact that the God who was with us since March when COVID began is the same God today as he is yesterday and will be tomorrow. So yes, we are facing the unexpected 2021, but we are facing it with the God of the mountain who is still God in the valley. The God who when things go wrong, he will make it right. We are confident that the God of the good times is still God in the bad times and that the God of the day is still God in the night. So may, may I invite you to join us in giving praise and thanks to God for the way that he has led us through the year and to commit ourselves, to recommit ourselves, to be even more fervent in our, in our service to God as we face 2021. And with that said, I want to join you, I, I want to call you to join us as we begin the year with a 30-day prayer marathon starting on the second Sabbath, the 2nd of January, we are going to go earnestly to God in prayer, giving thanks and asking him for his direction and his guidance as we go through the year 2021. We are certain that he will not bring us this far to leave us and that with Christ in the vessel, we can smile at the storm as we go sailing on. Once again, a big thank you on behalf of all of us here at the Northeast Jamaica Conference Office. A big thank you for the support, the commitment, the dedication to ministry, to service that you exhibited throughout the year. And we continue to pray for each other and we face the uncertain future with God because with Christ in the lead, we will succeed. May God bless you and your families as we go through the unknown.